Proponents of the dairy industry often like to talk about ethical dairy, which is essentially the notion that the baby cows are allowed to stay with their mother cows, they're not taken away and killed, they're all allowed to grow up as a happy family until they die of natural causes. Now, my question is, is this actually possible from the perspective of both economics and environmental sustainability? So right now we're going to crunch the numbers and find out. The National Herd Improvement Association of Australia states that dairy cows are impregnated to produce milk, and they even offer a manual on how to do this. The Dairy Australia website also states that this is the case, adding that cows will give birth every 12 months. According to Alberta Milk, dairy cows live for approximately five years before they are sent to the slaughterhouse and begin giving birth after they turn two. This means that we're looking at approximately two to four babies being born for every currently existing dairy cow. Now taking these numbers into account, let's see if it's actually possible to allow these families of cows to grow old until they die of natural causes. Let's say we have a small dairy farm with just 10 cows. As we said, each dairy cow will give birth to two to four calves before they are killed. Now obviously this is a happy ethical dairy farm so they don't kill their mother cows. Let's just say after the cows turn five they simply stop impregnating them, stop taking their milk and allow them to live out their lives on the paddocks as nature intended. To be conservative, let's say that each dairy cow only gives birth to two calves each. Let's say that 50% of these babies are males and 50% are females. This means, assuming we begin from when the original cows were two years old, in the first three years your 10 cows will turn into 30 with only 10 of those cows producing milk because the other two thirds are either male or too young. This means you will have expenses for 30 cows but will only receive profit from 10. In the next three years, your 30 cows will turn into 50, but now the original mothers are five years old, so they're free to live their life and are no longer milked. Now you have the expenses for 50 cows with only 10 producing milk because the original mothers are all old and free and the rest are either males or too young. The only cows currently producing milk are the first round of female calves. In the next three years, your 50 will turn into 70. You now have the expenses of 70 cows, but are only receiving profit from 10, because that first round of calves is now also five years old and are free to live their lives without being milked, while the rest are either male or too young. Now I'm sure you can see where this is going. Your profits will remain relatively stable, whilst your expenses will continue to increase significantly. And considering that the average lifespan of a cow without being sent to the slaughterhouse is around 20 years, the expansion of your dairy farm will look something like this. <laughs> Now one thing dairy farmers often say in response to this is that they simply adopt out their boy calves to people who have acreage and are willing to take them in and give them a nice loving home. However, there aren't enough acres on the planet to be able to house this many cows for 15 to 20 years. Putting aside all other environmental issues such as deforestation, of which cattle is the main cause, ocean destruction, of which animal agriculture is a primary contributor, and greenhouse gas emissions, which cows are largely responsible for, if we just focus on the land use issue alone, even if you had 20 loving homes you could send your mature unprofitable cows to, they would still quickly become overrun. Now, don't get me wrong, the dairy industry has absolutely made a lot of improvements to their animal welfare policies. For example, according to a 2016 dairy industry survey, only one out of every four dairy farmers beats baby cows to death. And nationally, 13% of dairy farmers surveyed have some training on how to kill a cow properly. I guess the other 87% just Googled it? No matter what the dairy industry does, there's just no escaping the reality that allowing all of these cows to live out their entire natural lifespans on acreage is not an economic or an environmental possibility. And this is why it's standard industry practice within the dairy industry to take away the baby boys and kill them, and then also kill the mothers when they stop producing enough milk. So, does ethical dairy exist? No. There will always be cows who have their lives unnecessarily taken from them, whether that be at the slaughterhouse with a knife or at the farm with a sledgehammer or a gun to the back of the head. But, I mean, hey, the good news is that oat milk is pretty dope and we could always just, you know, buy that instead. Wink, wink, and also nudges, and also um, maybe just a little sneaky, sneaky just buy that instead. Yeah, you get it. You, you know what I'm saying. All right, so that's the video for today, and I don't expect you to take my words as God's gospel and just take it all on without doing any kind of research. Take what I say with a grain of salt, go away and do your own research, because the truth is, 
I know what you'll find. It's literally on the dairy industry's website. Just go on Google and type in what happens to baby cows in the dairy industry. Do they kill cows for milk? Yeah, this stuff's pretty easy to find if you want to. So, that's it. Have a beautiful day and, you know, the whole oat milk thing instead. Catch up.